Today I'm going to show you how to remove the vapor canister from your late model Harley Davidson. The vapor canister is only found on Harley Davidson motorcycles sold in the state of California. The can is located at the bottom of the frame rail behind the front wheel. You will also notice two hoses running up the frame and under the fuel tank. This can all be removed without impacting your bike's performance. This diagram shows all of the parts related to the vapor canister. We're going to be removing all of the parts, including a solenoid, with the exception of the one hose at the top of the diagram that comes from the gas tank. The gas tank needs to breathe, and this hose needs to remain in place. Let's be honest, this thing is an eyesore and it's got to go. Besides, since I moved out of California, why not rip that can off my bike? You're going to need some tools, of course, but there's one tool I just can't work without. All right, let's we'll stop fooling around and get to it. The first thing is to remove the zip ties holding the hoses to the frame. If you look closely on the canister, you can clearly see the hoses marked tank, purge, and air. Identify the hose tied to the gas line and follow it up to the neck of the bike. When you make your cut, leave a couple inches below where the hose is attached to the neck of the bike. This will be the only hose remaining and will allow the gas tank to breathe. Next, look behind your air cleaner. You may need to remove your air cleaner if it's larger than mine. And remove the hose that goes directly into the throttle body. When using tools on the bike, it's always a good practice to use towels or rags to cover places that may get scratched or bumped. The only part I bought from Harley for a couple of dollars was a cap plug. This plug goes in place of the hose on the throttle body. Since it's only a couple of bolts, I went ahead and removed the coil to get to the solenoid that we need to remove. If you've come this far, you've now removed all points where the vapor canister and its associated hoses attach to the bike. The last thing to do is remove the hoses and the canister itself. Make life easy on yourself. Remove the bolt on the rear tank mount and loosen up the bolt on the front tank mount so that you can swivel the tank up and down and get underneath it easily. Underneath the tank, there is a small clip connecting one of the hoses to some wires. You must unclip this before removing the hoses from the bike. Last but not least is to remove the two bolts holding the canister onto the front of the bike. It's only two bolts, but it's really important that you listen to these next steps. You must remove one bolt, loosen the other, swing the canister around, and then replace the first bolt before removing the second bolt. This is important because these two bolts are the motor mounts. If you remove both, the motor will drop onto the frame. This is not catastrophic, but it's a pain in the ass to get the motor aligned with the holes to put the bolts back into place. This is the only Harley modification I know that can be done for under $5. I hope this video helps you. This is Chainsaw from Granite City Riders. I'll see you on the road.